if you're willing to brave the cold crappie fishing that and the hybrid striped bass fishing here at Thomas Hill Lake, it gives somebody something to do in the winter time. It's a place you can go in the winter and have fun. I got one on here now. That's a pretty nice crappie. Well, these brush piles, they put them in here to hold the fish, you know, as a structure for the fish. And uh, it just kind of concentrates them during the winter in these brush piles. Another crappie. Nice size one. We spent a lot of time building these brush piles, a lot of hard work, and to see people utilizing those brush piles and catching fish off them, it gives you a good feeling. Well, hey, Bob, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Mike? You catching any fish? We're doing pretty good. Oh, I've yeah. got a dozen and I think Wayne's got 11. Well, that's great. Well, historically, there, there were numerous crappie beds uh, put out here uh, by previous biologists. So we did a project where we identified 11 of the, of the historic brush piles, put new brush on them, and we also built additional brush piles. And with those, we've, we've marked those on a map. We've GPS the coordinates. So anglers with uh, GPS capabilities can find those brush piles. The power plant, it's actually Associated Electric's lake. Uh, we, we manage the fishery and some of the surrounding land around the lake. They use the lake for cooling their coal fired generators. And because of that, even on cold days like today, the, the surface water temperature was 60 degrees. Now that warm water keeps fish active and feeding uh, uh, especially in the winter time here at Thomas Hill. I really like to fish down Thomas Hill. It's usually open in the winter time and it's, you know, if you can stand the cold air, you can come down here and catch some fish. Uh, it's good fishing down here. Good crappie, good quality crappie.